separating the boys from men. Now look at this one. As you reach, as they reach the 16 miles, this one. As they reach this mile, the 16 miles, this is what we call the heartbreak hill. Now the runners seem to be enjoying to run as they run from 0 to 16 kilometers, or 16 miles, or about 26 kilometers. And as they run to that 26 kilometers, they enjoy it. But as they reach the point, the heartbreak hill, everybody say, heartbreak hill. Heartbreak hill. As they reach that heartbreak hill, there is something that changes their body. There is something that changes their minds. Their minds become foggy. Their minds become so different that it changes their bodies. It changes their, 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 uh, their, uh, their appearance, not appearance, but their, their, uh, I mean, uh, yung metabolism nila. Yung, nag, nagbabago yung, yung pagtakbo nila. They experience, they suffer hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia in the sense that their sugar blood becomes slower down. So as their sugar blood becomes slower down, it lowers down because of hypoglycemia, what happens your minds become foggy. And that's what they call, they call that hitting the wall. Hitting the wall. That sometimes a runner, when they hit, pag nakarating na sila dito sa, sa 16 miles na ito, sa point na ito, some of them give up. Some of them cannot even, you know, they, they suffer hypoglycemia in the sense that, am I going to run, am I going to stop, or am I going to continue? It is a point where they decide to continue. It is a point where they are all alone. Now in this stage here, in the Boston Marathon, from 0 to 26 kilometers, there are a lot of people there. Uh, they, 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 they motivate those people, they encourage them, see again, they give them, they, they, they give them day to day, they give them water. But in this point, at 60 miles, this is a place where they are lonely. This is a place where they are running along. This is a place where they are in the brink of, of deciding whether am I going to continue or am I going to quit the race. This is a place where separating men from boys. This is a kind of place where everybody, amen, have to decide. This is a place, but for Christians, in our Christian life, sometimes we are experiencing a downgrade running where everything seems to be okay. But as we reach that heartbreak hill, sometimes we give up. Sometimes we are in a brink of losing. Sometimes we are in a brink of giving up these things. Now as they reach that heartbreak hill, but as Christians, God wanted us to continue to go to that heartbreak hill because it is a place. Heartbreak hill is a place where leaders are born. Heartbreak hill is a place where ministries are born. Heartbreak hill is a place where Ministries and great men of God are born. This is a place where God wanted us to continue the fight. Now let me just give you these things because at the 16 miles, people would tend to give up. People would tend to be thinking or, or their minds become foggy and, and things like giving up. Now, in our living as a Christian life, I was asking God, Lord, what kind of sample you can give me that tells a believer or even a character in the Bible is also running a race? Aside from Paul, aside from the Greek people. Now, God has given me this, the story of Naomi. We all know Naomi. Naomi is the wife of Elimelech, the prophet. And Naomi has two sons. Tama? Two sons who married Ruth, a beautiful Ruth, and beautiful Orpah. Not Oprah, Orpah. 
Tama? Now, Naomi, as they begin the race, in the civil race, they're all wearing sneakers. They're all wearing good things in life. They experience good things in life with their, with their husband, with their, with their two sons and, and daughter-in-law. They are running so smoothly. Their life were running so smoothly. They were sneakers as, as they were holding hands. We are, in, 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 we are blessed by God. But somewhere along the way, they experience heartbreak here. Somewhere along the way, they experience that heartbreak here that even Naomi, when, 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 when her husband died, the Elimelech died, followed by her son, and the other son died, what remains to Naomi are her daughter-in-law, Orpha and Ruth. And, and, and Naomi said to her two daughter-in-law, don't call me Naomi anymore, but call me Peter. Because I have nothing now, I have nothing. They experience heartbreak here. But as, as Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, I now release you. Go now to your family, go now to the, I, I cannot bore child anymore. Kasi yung nakaugalian ng mga kusyano, nung mga unang panahon, na yung kumangarap pa siya, yun ang iaasawa nila, matanta na kung di na pwede magkaanak. Amen? And so, Sabi niya, umuwi na kayo sa ito. I now give you freedom. But you know, Orpa, Orpa said she, she kissed her mother-in-law, Naomi, and said, I love you, mother, but I have to go back to that place. And so, Ruth was there, and Ruth said, he, Sabi niya, I will go with you. Ruth was saying to her mother-in-law, Naomi, I will go with you. Your people are my people. And then Naomi said, I will go to Bethlehem where there is a bread. And as Naomi said, I will go to Bethlehem and look for a bread, because she knew that there is a reward on the other side of the heartbreak here. He knew that as he goes to Bethlehem, there is a reward. There is a good thing that will happen to her. And so Ruth, stays with Naomi. He said, I will go with you. No matter where you are, no matter what kind of heartbreak hill you are, we will go up unto that heartbreak hill and overcome that heartbreak hill. Amen. Now let me just look onto these things. Now as they go, heartbreak hill, who is Ruth? Ruth was a product of incest. A Moabite because Lot and, and her daughter Married together, and they were the Moabites, a product of incest. Ruth was a product of incest. So as, as Ruth, a product of incest, went to Bethlehem, she saw Boaz. Boaz also is a product of prostitution. Boaz was a product of a prostitute mother named Rahab. And so God said, I will put this to a product of an incest and a product of a prostitute. These two have heartbreak heels. But you know what, brothers and sisters, as God put them together, they are a product of heartbreak heels. They are experiencing heartbreak heels. But as they, they continue to go on to that heartbreak heel because they knew that somewhere along the line, God has a reward waiting for them. Now, look at this one. When Boaz and, and Ruth married together, they were hooked by God together. They, they have a son named Obed. You know Obed? They have a son named Obed, and Obed begot Jesse. Hallelujah. See, look at this one, brothers and sisters. From incest to prostitute, to match you want to the genealogy of our Lord Jesus Christ, from Obed to Jesse, from Jesse to David, from David to Solomon, from Solomon to Jesus, their God's son. God made their heart break here. Amen. Keep it from promising things which God has promised them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Though they have the heart break here, though they have the things happened to them, they continue
continue running the race. They continue running, though it is an uphill. Though they continue to, they are in a heartbreak here. But Ruth was telling to Naomi, no matter what heartbreak hill you have, I will go with you. Your people are my people. I will go with you no matter what circumstances, because I knew that there is a reward waiting for us in Bethlehem. There is a reward waiting for us, and God took Ruth and Boaz. And Boaz had a son. Boaz and Ruth had a son named Obed, and Obed had a son named Jesse, and Jesse had a son named David, and David had a son named Solomon, and Solomon had a grandson named our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, in our lives, brothers and sisters, we may have a heartbreak here. We may have things that so deep that we cannot even go to that heartbreak here. Sometimes we are in a brink of giving up to this kind of heartbreak here. But I do believe that as we offer that heartbreak here unto our God, unto Jesus, He will turn all the heartbreak here into promising things that God has promised for you. God is able to give us the encouragement to finish the race, to finish that assignment that God has given us. Though you have heartbreak pills, God will turn those heartbreak pills into a mercy. Amen? And that is why God will lead your best race to the finish. Amen? Let us all stand, brothers and sisters, as we as we close.